what we need. <laughs> we thought it would be a good idea to do a show for you on a special Christmas show. It's called a pantomime. Now pantomimes are so much fun. They're full of dancing and singing. The actors get to wear <laughs> wonderful costumes. There are bright lights and lots of magical things happen. Yes, yeah, so we want to do a special CBeebies pantomime. And this is the one we'd like to do. It's called Cinderella. It's one of my favourite stories. And look, it fits into the back of our model theatre to make the Cinderella scenery. Now here comes Cinderella. There she is. Cinderella is really kind and she lives at home with her two sisters. Hmm. Here they are. They're not kind though. They're horrible to Cinderella and they make her do all the housework and don't let her have any fun. Now this person is very important to the story. The fairy godmother. There she is. Now she brings some wonderful magic to help Cinderella in the story. I wish we had a fairy godmother, Sid. Yeah, why's that? Well, we want to put on our Cinderella pantomime, don't we? Mm. But we've got no theatre, no scenery, just empty space. Yes, yeah, so we could do some fairy godmother magic right now. Did someone say fairy godmother? Did someone say magic? <laughs> well then imagine, imagine, imagine a theatre. <laughs> Here we are. I think this is the place. Oh, to me, oh, Sue, this okay. way. Oh, look! That's it. Hey! Where did all this come from? I have no idea. I don't know. It's amazing. It's our very own CBeebies Theatre. It's pantomime time. Pull back the curtain. Dance a dance and sing a song Everybody sing along There'll be a pantomime tonight There'll be goodies and baddies <laughs> With magic spells to help us on our way We'll have happies <laughs> and saddies We might even have a handsome prince who saves the day He's behind you So here we are then, ready to start. Have you ever been to a theatre before? Well, this is where you'd sit, in the audience seats. It's very exciting waiting for the show to begin and wondering what's behind the curtain. I wonder what is behind the curtain. Let's have a look, shall we? Hello again. We're just getting the stage ready so we can start rehearsing. That means practising the show. Here you are, Bibi and Bracken. Even the rabbits are going to be in the pantomime. They're going to play Cinderella's pets. Now this broom and this pumpkin are called props and we're going to use them to help tell the story. Now this pumpkin is going to be a very important prop indeed for the story of Cinderella. You just wait and see. Oh, come and get your costumes! Now, in pantomimes, costumes are usually really brightly coloured and sparkly. Look at these. Sue and I are going to play Cinderella's mean sisters. <laughs> what would they wear? Oh, well, you know, I quite like these feathers. Look at this. <gasps> wow, look at this dress! Ooh. It sparkles in the light. Oh. And who in the Cinderella pantomime would wear these wings and wave a magic wand? Any ideas? You know, I think that would be the fairy godmother. Yes. Oh, and who would wear these rags? Hmm, now Cinderella's sisters would never wear anything as dirty as that. 
So it must be for Cinderella. And Nicole is playing Cinderella. You know, I think we should find her and then we can rehearse. Nicole! 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 Now, the lights in a the theatre are very important, and this one is very special. It's called a follow spot, and it usually shines on one person on the stage so everyone can see them. Now, let's see what's happening on the stage at the moment. So, look, I'll come on. I think we should come on yeah. from over there, don't you? Oh, okay, quick, so quick, quick, come quick. on as well. Ah, okay. the others are starting to rehearse now, so let's shine the follow spot on Cinderella. Cinderella always works really hard. Her sisters give her so much to do and they never help. Hello, Cinderella. Hello, Buttons. <laughs> this is Buttons, Cinderella's best friend. He always cheers her up, especially when her sisters have been horrible to her. Oh, yes, I wonder where your sisters are now, the old meanies. They're right here, Buttons. Where? Where? Well, behind, behind you. you. <laughs> that sometimes happens in pantomimes. You can see something that we can't. And then everybody shouts... It's behind you! So here are the sisters. Come to boss poor Cinderella around as usual. I'm Suki. And I'm Puka. And we think we're very pretty. <laughs> and very clever. But really, Cinderella is much prettier and much cleverer. What? Did you say buttons? Nothing. So what part of the pantomime are we doing first? Well, Poi and I will come and make sure you've done all your work. Now, you have to feed BB and Bracken. Yes. And you have to mend our knickers. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And you have to cook this big pumpkin for dinner, OK? OK. And then I'll bring in the post with piles of Christmas presents. Oh, all for Suki and Boogie. <laughs> I expect them. Come on, Sue, let's put the rest of our costumes okay. on. Well, doesn't Cinderella get any Christmas presents? Oh, I'm afraid not, Nicole. You see, Cinderella isn't having a happy time at the start. But it all turns out all right in the end, though, doesn't it? Well, we can't tell people the end of the story. You'll just have to watch and find out. Now, come on, we'd better get ready for the start. See you later, then, Buttons. Bye, Cinderella. <laughs> poor, poor Cinderella. Oh, poor Cinderella. Not one Christmas present. I know. I could make her a Christmas present and then Buttons can give it to her later on in the pantomime. Now, what can I make? I've got everything I need to make a glitter globe. And you could make one too. What you need is a plastic jar like this one here. And you fill it with shiny things like this gold glitter here. Let's pop that in. And I've got some gold stars as well. But you could use anything that's small and glittery. There we are. Now, I've also got a picture of a fairy godmother who is somebody Cinderella really needs to meet to make all her wishes come true. And I'm going to stick that on the back of the jar. You'll see that again in a minute. The next thing is to fill the jar with water, almost to the top. There it goes. And you need to screw on the cap as tightly as you can. I've also got a gold star to put on the top to make it look pretty. Now see what happens when I shake it from side to side. Isn't that magical? Cinderella will love this. Now I must go and put my costume on, ready for the first scene of our pantomime. Now, when Poi and I are being Pookie and Suki, Cinderella's mean sisters, we look very different than we usually do. We wear lots of makeup. Now, Suki likes lots of pink cheeks like this. Like this. Oh, lovely big cheeks. There we go. <laughs> and <laughs> she wears very bright lipstick as well. Look, there's a lovely pink there. And then to finish it off, she wears these. Now, look at these. They're false eyelashes. They're very long. And when they're stuck on, they feel quite funny. And they're quite heavy as well. Now, this is what Suki looks like when she's ready. Can you tell? What? No, it's natural. You look, oh, it's natural. Gotta hurry. Not much time left.
Let the pantomime begin. Oh, I've got so much work to do, and my sisters will be so angry with me if I haven't done it by the time they get back. <sighs> Hello, Cinderella. I've just brought in these Christmas presents that came in the post. Oh, I've had such a terrible day, Buttons. Have your sisters been mean to you again? I'm afraid so. They are naughtier than the naughty Nunu. And if they were here now, I'd tell them what I think of them. I think they're so mean, so rude and so nasty. My sisters. Yes, your horrible, mean sisters. They're here. Where? We're right behind you. You're kidding. It buttons. Let's go and milk a cow or something. I've already milked a cow. Well, pull the other one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cinderella? Um, yes, sisters. Have you done all the things we ordered you to do? Uh, yes, sisters. I fed the rabbit. Yes. yes. And I've mended your knickers. Yes. yes. And I bought a giant pumpkin from the market. What? <laughs> You may not have cooked it yet. Oh, I'm sorry. I've just been so busy. I haven't had Oh, time. you naughty girl. You lazy girl. You, you naughty, naughty lazy girl. girl. Oh, I'm really sorry. <gasps> Look at these lovely Christmas presents, Suki. Oh, oh, for us. Wonderful. Oh, I love presents. Oh. And Cinderella oh. hasn't got any. <laughs> We've we got, got lots of presents. I had a Christmas present. Just one tiny present. Wishes can come true, Cinderella. There you are. It's a little something that I made earlier. Oh, thank you, Button. It's beautiful. Thank you. I've never had a present before. You're the best friend that anyone could ever wish for. Care to dance, Cinderella? I'd love to. Oh, I've got you, and you've got me. We go so well together. Yes, me and you, we'll muddle through. Cause we're best friends. You've got me, and I've got you. Whatever the weather, we'll laugh and shout, let our feelings out. Cause we're best friends We'll sing and dance when we get the chance Cause we're best friends Oh, we won't be sad We'll just be glad that we're best friends We Cinderella, the sisters are so mean. Good job she's got a friend in me, Buttons. Oh, will things work out for Cinderella? Well, you'll have to come back to find out because it's pantomime time again tomorrow. Oh, it's not, is it? Oh, yes, it is. Bye. Bye.
We might even have a handsome prince who saves the day. He's behind you! Oh no he isn't! Oh yes he is! Make sure the costumes are colourful and bright And when the audience is here you'll know that showtime's really near There'll be a pantomime Make sure you're here on time There'll be a pantomime tonight Hello again! Hello! Well, it's all getting very exciting and Christmassy round here. These decorations are for the stage because it's Christmas time in our Cinderella pantomime too. Let's go through the story of our pantomime so far. Well, Cinderella, that's Nicole, lives with her sisters played by Sue and Poi. Her sisters are really mean to Cinderella and make her do all the work around the house. The only person that's kind to Cinderella is her best friend, Buttons. And that's Chris. Nicole, can you see what I can see? It's a Christmas tree moving all by itself. How's it doing that? Don't worry, it's only me. Now this Christmas tree is going into Cinderella's kitchen later on. Now in the next part of our pantomime, Cinderella and her sisters are about to get some exciting news and someone special is going to join the story. So let's find out who it is by looking behind the CBB's curtain. It's me! Hello! And I'm very happy because today I get to be in the pantomime. I'm going to be the Prince, Prince Sidney of Sloan. <laughs> but first, I need to find something to wear. Oh, something to wear? Well, Sid, why don't you take a look in here? Because there's lots of hats and things. Uh, what have you got? No. Um, oh, what about this? Uh, no, no okay. that's a wig. <laughs> okay, um, oh. Ah, mmm, mm, now, that's more like it. What do you think? Oh, you look very, um, princely, your <laughs> highness. Oh, dear lady. <laughs> Thanks, Sue. Now, I've got to find some furniture for the prince's palace. I'll be back soon. OK, <laughs> see you later. Let's have another look in the box, shall we? Oh, oh, what are these? Envelopes. I'm going to have a look inside. <laughs> oh, please come to my party. They're party invitations and there's one... Two, three of them. I wonder who they're for. This looks interesting. Hey, look at this. A throne for a prince. That's a special chair. Yes, I think this will do very nicely. Oh, I better take it back to the stage where the others are rehearsing. Getting ready for the next part of the pantomime. <laughs> Haven't you finished cleaning yet? What a lazy girl you are. Oh, sorry, sisters. I'll try to work harder. Really, I will. Oh, I hate being mean to Nicole like this. Oh, it's OK. We're only pretending. Nicole knows we're not really being mean to her. Well, yes, that's what actors do. They pretend to be someone else. I know that Sue and Poi aren't really being horrible to me. There we are. This corner of the stage is going to be my palace, OK? <laughs> do you like my throne? Mm -hmm. Very nice. I tell you what, Sid, why don't you start the scene off by telling everyone about your big Christmas party? Oh, yes, and I've already sent the invitations out to everyone. Ah, so that's what these must be, invitations to the prince's party. And Buttons can deliver them. One for Suki. No, thank you. <laughs> one for Pookie. Mm -hmm. And one to Cinderella. Well, hang on a minute. She's not going to the ball. I mean, she hasn't got a party dress. <laughs> or a party hairdo. No, and she doesn't know how to play party games like pass the party parcel. <laughs> pass the party parcel? Yes, you can't go to a party unless you can play pass the party parcel. <laughs> Poor Cinderella. It's so unfair. I think she should go to the prince's party too. Yes, and Prince Sidney wants everyone to come to the party. You two sisters are so mean. Look, Sid, we're the baddies in this panto. And baddies in pantos are always mean. At a panto, people often boo and hiss the baddies when they come on stage like this. Boo! Sue! Oh, look, you can boo and suss all you like. Of course, she's not coming to the party with us, is she, sister? No, certainly not. In fact, we'll take her invitation and hide it. Come on. Boo! Boo! 
Don't worry. I've got a funny feeling everything is going to work out just right for Cinderella. And anyway, she's always got her friend Buttons to cheer her up. Poor Cinderella. She never gets to have any fun. Now her sisters are going to the Prince's Ball and she has to stay home all alone. It's not fair. Oh, dear. She's right. I know Cinderella and Buttons can have their own little party and play Pass the Parcel. I just need to make some Christmassy wrapping paper. And look, I've got everything I need right here. It's as if the fairy godmother has already been. Look, this kitchen sponge can be used to make a pattern on the paper. Get someone to cut it out into a shape like this Christmas tree here. And then what you have to do is to dip it into the paint like that and print it onto the paper there. There's one Christmas tree and another and one more I think. Yes, I'll put that one there. Now I'm going to finish it off by printing on some trunks. There's one trunk. Are you sending any Christmas presents this year? Well, if you are, you could make your own wrapping paper like this to make the present really special. It's pantomime time. Oh, it can't be that time already. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, no, it isn't. Oh, yes, it is. Well, I'd better get a move on then. I'm going to wrap something very special inside here for Cinderella. It's a surprise, so... <laughs> Good day to you, Prince Sidney of Sloane, and this is my palace. As you can see, I'm very, very rich. If I want something, I only need ask. Watch this. I'd like a hot dog, please. No, not a dog that is hot. A hot dog smack. Thank you. Now, although I'm very, very rich, I'm also quite lonely because I have to live in this palace all by myself, which is why I'm having a ball. That's a big party. And I've sent buttons out with the invitations. Dave, Mr. Biff, go! Oh, oh. Girls, oh. I've got good news. Prince Charming is having a ball. That's a big party. And there are invitations for all of you. Yeah. <laughs> So that's one for you, Suki, oh, thank you. one for you, Pookie, and Ooh. one for Cinderella. No, she's not going. Why can't Cinderella go to the ball? Well, she, she hasn't got a party dress. And she hasn't got a party hairdo. No, and she doesn't know how to play Pass the Party Parcel. Come on, sister, let's get our dresses sorted out. No. <laughs> They're right, you know. I don't know how to play any party games because I've never been to a party before. Well, look, don't worry, Cinderella. We'll have a party right here. Look, I've even got a pass the parcel parcel. Oh, thank you, Button. He's got a parcel. It's a pass the parcel parcel. We want to play pass the party parcel. Oh, no. Oh, I'd love to play with you, sister. <laughs> Cinderella is too kind. OK, everybody sit down and pass the parcel. When the music stops, whoever's got the parcel can unwrap one layer of the paper. What a wonderful game. Are you ready? Go! <laughs> oh, the music stopped. Now open it then, silly. Hurry up, hurry up. Ooh, I wonder what it is. <gasps> Sweet. I'd never had one of those before. OK, here comes the music again. Go! <laughs> <laughs> quick, quick, quick. Oh! Oh! <gasps> I don't believe it. It stopped on me again. <laughs> Ooh. And, uh, another sweet. It's like all my birthdays and Christmases have come at once. No, it's not fair! She's getting all the sweeties! She's cheating! <laughs> no, she isn't. She's just lucky. 
No, can't give it to me. I'll start. I'll start. That, that'll <laughs> stop her from yeah. cheating. Okay, go. Come on, Sweetie. Well, my arm hurts. I oh, can't hand it over. It's naughty, a... Nina. Oh. <laughs> and you, Pookie, oh. pass it on. Oh. Pass it on to Cinderella. Oh. <gasps> ah! Wow, it stopped on me again. <laughs> oh, what is it this time? <gasps> I wonder what's inside. Oh, a beautiful sparkly necklace. <gasps> well, what a shame you won't be wearing it to the prince's ball. <laughs> we're, we're going to the ball. We're, we're going, going to the ball. And Cinder's has to stay at home. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, Cinderella. We'll carry on having a party right here in the kitchen. Oh, thanks, Buttons. This is my very first party, you know. Everybody loves a party. Everybody loves to have a ball. It's a chance to dress up smartly. A time for fun for one and all. A time for fun for one and all. Some people like to dance. have a kitchen party for Cinderella, but I wish she could go to the prince's party as well. Well, you never know. Maybe she will. And you'll never know unless you come back and watch the next part of the CBeebies pantomime. See you then. Bye. Bye. Some prince who saves the day. He's behind you. Oh no, he isn't. Oh yes, he is. Make sure the costumes are colourful and bright. And when the audience is here, you'll know that showtime's really near. There'll be a pantomime. Make sure you're here on time. There'll be a pantomime tonight. Greetings, Prince Sidney of Sloan, at your service. The Cinderella story is getting very exciting now, and on top of all that, it's Christmas time too! Oh, you can almost feel the magic in the air. Did someone say magic? Who said that? <laughs> I 
I did. <laughs> Hello, Sid. <laughs> Rosetti, don't the story makers need you today? No, not until tonight. So I'm here to play Cinderella's fairy godmother in your pantomime. Fantastic. Now, the fairy godmother is very important. She'll be bringing some wonderful magic to the next part of the Cinderella story. Well, if it's magic you want, Sid, then I'm here to help. <clears throat> imagine, imagine, imagine some Christmas magic. Wow, look at this tree. Where did that come from? I don't know. Oh, the others must have put it in. Well, it looks fantastic. Oh, I do love Christmas. Hey, Chris, look at the pumpkin. It's gone all sparkly. And that's not all. Look at Bibi and Bracken. What's going on? Well, I'm not sure, but maybe they're all clues to the next part of the Cinderella story. Oh, yes. Cinderella's fairy godmother arrives soon, doesn't she? I'll go and get Sid and we'll rehearse the next scene. Well, there's definitely some Christmas magic in the air today. Chris! Chris, we need some help! Coming! Oh, oh there must be something in here we can use. Mm. What seems to be the problem? Well, we need a carriage so the sisters can go to the ball. And we can't find anything that looks like a carriage. Hmm. Well, you don't need a whole carriage, do you? Don't we? No, you just need something that gives the idea of the wheels turning round. Mm. Hey, mm. how about using these umbrellas? Just hold one up like this and spin it round and it looks like the wheel's turning. Ah. Uh -huh. There's oh, one for you, you, Sue. Okay. And there's one oh. for you, Poi. Well, thank you, Chris. Oh, look at that. Oh, you know, yes. I think we should take these to the stage and rehearse, don't you, Poi? Yep. Mm. Thanks, Chris. Thank you, Chris. This way. Have a nice time at the ball. Oh, it's such a shame that Cinderella can't go to. Come on, Poi. <laughs> oh, are you ready to rehearse back there? Ready. <laughs> Come on, sister. Into our carriage. And off we go. We're going to the ball. We're going to the ball. And Cinder's has to stay at home. <laughs> Cinderella has to feel really sad in this scene because everyone else has gone to the prince's ball and she's been left all on her own at home. Nicole, let's do the start of the scene together. I'll be in my palace over there and we can both be daydreaming about each other. Yes, and we can imagine what each other look like. Yes, and pretend to be dancing with each other. <laughs> and then Cinderella wakes up to find herself all on her own. Oh, it really is a sad scene, isn't it? <laughs> Sid? Shouldn't the fairy godmother be here by now? Oh, I'm sure she'll be here soon. Well, I hope so, because in our story, the fairy godmother helps Cinderella, doesn't she? And if she doesn't turn up, then Cinderella will be in big trouble. Well, I don't know where she is, but we had better get ready. It's nearly pantomime time. Come mm. on. <sighs> where is she? Come on, Nicole. <laughs> now, I must check my props before we do the scene. Pumpkin. Ah, yes, here it is. <laughs> oh, it's a nice big one. <laughs> now we need some mice. Mice. Oh, I don't see any mice. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> well, these rabbits will do nicely. <laughs> and finally, my magic wand. <laughs> oh. oh, well, I know I had it earlier, didn't I? I, um, must have, uh... Oh, yes. Here it is. Ta da! Oh. oh no, it's broken. How am I going to do my pantomime magic if it's broken? Oh, this is a disaster. I need to get some help at once. <laughs> Terrible's happened. Oh no, what? I've only gone and broken my wand. How are we going to get Cinderella to the ball if my wand's not working? Yes, well, I can make you another wand, but I'm not sure how good it'll be at doing magic. Oh, well, let's give it a try, eh? Okay then. <laughs> um, if I use this paintbrush here and I just wrap it in some nice shiny foil. Oh, that's clever. Yes. I think I've decorated a little bit 
with this gold trim. Oh, nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Give it a nice sparkling effect. Oh, round and round. Hey, what about this gold star? Should we stick that at the top? Oh, yeah, I think I can do that, yes. Mm. Finish that off. Here we go. Have this gold star at the top there. Yeah. Uh, that's looking nice, and yeah. I know we'll make it a special CBeebies magic wand and add a CBeebies bug in the middle like that. There you are. How's that? <gasps> that's perfect. <laughs> now let's put some magic into it. Okay. Now I need your help. I am going to count to three, and I want every single one of you to shout CBeebies as loud as you can. Uh, you too, Sid. Okay. Okay. You ready? One, two, three. Three. C babies. Did it work? Oh, well, I hope so. But we won't find out until I do the scene with Cinderella later. <laughs> Sid, it's pantomime time. Well, it's not time yet, is it? Oh, oh yes, yes, it, it is. is. <laughs> oh, thanks for helping. Come on. It's time to go to the ball. I'm ready. I'm ready. Ooh. Don't you look lovely? No, oh, thank you, dear. So do you. You know, the prince is going to want to dance with us all night. Well, come on then. Into the carriage. Off we go. We're going to the ball. We're going to the ball. And Cinder's has to stay at home. Any minute now, everyone will be arriving at Prince Sidney's ball. Oh, I wish, I wish, I wish I could meet the prince. Any minute now, everyone will be arriving at my ball. I wish, I wish, I wish I could meet someone special. I bet the prince is handsome. My special someone will be really pretty, really kind. I'll go up to her. And bow. Your Highness. May I have the pleasure of this dance? I would love to dance. I must get on with my chores. I've got no time for dreaming. I am your fairy godmother, Cinderella, and I've seen what a good girl you've been, cooking and cleaning, looking after those two naughty sisters of yours. It's about time you had a treat. What sort of treat? Well, don't you wish that you could go to the ball? Oh, yes, but I haven't got a dress to wear. Well, if you wish really hard, you might be surprised. Come on, close your eyes and make a wish. Now, let's see if we've managed to put the magic into my new CBeebies wand. <gasps> it worked! <laughs> well done, everyone! Wow! A beautiful dress! Oh, my hair's done! Oh, what are these? Oh, they're glass slippers, and you're the only person they'll fit. Now, wish again. Oh. <gasps> An invitation to the ball. Now, I've got some very clever fairy magic I've got to do. I'm going to need lots of help. Oh, well, what did you need me to do? Bring that pumpkin over here to the rabbits. Right. Now, I need you... And you as well to shout C B B C B B C B B S as loud as you can. Are you ready? <gasps> One, two, three. C B B C B B C B B S. Fairy Godmother, I can't believe this is happening to me. Oh, you deserve it, my sweet. This carriage will take you to Prince Sydney's ball, and for this evening. You will be Princess Cinderella. Princess Cinderella. <laughs> <laughs> but a word of warning before you go. 
Be sure to leave before the last chime of midnight. Why, what happens after midnight? Well, that's when I have to give my magic to Jelly and Jackson, the story makers. Make sure you leave or your dress will turn into rags and your carriage will turn back to a pumpkin. I will remember Fairy Godmother. Goodbye and thank you so much. Goodbye, Cinderella. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> I think it will be fine and I'll have a lovely time Unless my sisters get there first <laughs> We're going to the ball, we're going to the ball The prince is such a handsome fella oh, yes. He'll want to dance with me No, it'll be with me, you'll see Well, at least it won't be poor Off my feet. I wonder if tonight will be the night that we shall meet. How sweet! We're going to the ball. We're going to the ball. I wonder if tonight's the night. I'm sure I'll have a lovely night. I wonder if tonight's the night we'll meet. We're going to the ball. You'll have to wait and see. I'm off to make some stories now. So, it's goodbye from me. Some prince who saves the day. He's behind you. Oh no, he isn't. Oh yes, he is. Make sure the costumes are colorful and bright. And when the audience is here, you'll know that showtime's really near. There'll be a pantomime. Make sure you're here on time. There'll be a pantomime tonight. Well, it's Christmas Day in our CBeebies pantomime, and it's also the day of Prince Sydney's big party. Oh, I'm so excited. Lots of people are going. And if you've been following the story of Cinderella, you'll know that the fairy godmother has already worked her magic. And now, Cinderella here has her beautiful dress and her coach ready to go to the ball to meet the prince. Cinderella's sisters don't know yet, and I don't think they're going to be very pleased. Oh, hello there. This is my costume for the pantomime. How do I look? Hmm. And this is Poi's look. Now, Poi and I play Cinderella's mean old sisters, and we both want to marry the prince. Now, I need to find something to make my costume look really special for the prince's party. So, oh, look. <laughs> now, while I have a think, why don't you take a look behind the CBeebies curtain? I think you'll be surprised. Hello. Hello. What do you think, Poi? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> We're setting the stage for the prince's 
palace. And soon we'll be going to the party. Yes, there'll be lots of special guests arriving. Oh, they should be here any minute now. And watch out for some faces that you might even recognise. Oh, it looks lovely. And, Sid, we've even got some special party lighting, haven't we? Yes, we have, and it's up there. It's called a mirror ball, and they are great for parties. It's made from lots and lots of little mirrors, and if you shine a bright light at it, watch what happens. Magical! Would you care to dance? Oh, I'd be delighted. La, 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 la. Now, in a pantomime, there's normally loads of music, and it's usually played by a band. But in some theatres, they have a machine like this to play in the music and also to make funny sounds. Let's have a listen. Oh, that's a magical sound, isn't it? That could be for the arrival of the fairy godmother. What about this one here? Oh, that's a rude noise, isn't it? Let's listen to it again. <laughs> I tell you what, that could be for when the sisters blow their nose like this. What about this one? Ah, oh, a clock chiming. Well, that's very important for the story of Cinderella. Now, make sure you listen out for all those sounds when you watch us act out the next scene of Cinderella later on. Next, we've got to rehearse the party scene, so I'd better give them some party music. Have the guests arrived yet? Well, not yet, but when they get here, we've got to work out what they're going to do. Oh, they'll be dancing and chatting at the beginning of the scene. Mm -hmm. right, then the prince arrives, we'll get Chris to announce him, and I'll welcome everyone to my party. <laughs> yes, and then we'll come in, and we'll be arguing about who the prince likes best and who's going to dance with him. Oh, yes, and when the party's in full swing, Cinderella arrives. Oh, come on, Nicole. <laughs> the guests are arriving. <gasps> I've just seen Miss Hooley from Balamori and Max from the Tweenies. Oh. OK, quick, then, we better finish this rehearsal. So I'll ask... Cinderella to dance with me. Yes, and we'll be really cross because Cinderella shouldn't be at the party in the first place. Oh, yes, and we'll be very jealous because the prince is dancing with Cinderella. But don't forget, Cinderella has to leave at midnight. That's 12 o'clock. Yes, because the fairy godmother's magic will have worn off by then and she'll be back into her old tatty clothes. Hello? Who's there? We're here for the prince's party. <gasps> oh, look, it's Archie and Miss Hooley. Hello. Oh, hi, everyone. Oh, thanks so much for coming. <laughs> What's the story in Balamori? <laughs> Excuse me, have I come to the right place? Oh, it's Max, hello, Max. Oh, come and join us, Max. <laughs> you know, I, I wasn't sure what you wanted me to wear, so I, I bought a few things. Yes. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, hey! Is that Tamba from Tickabilla? Yes, it's me. <laughs> well, come and meet everyone, Tamba. Oh, dear. I'm a bit shy. Oh, well, listen, don't worry, because Roly Mo from Fimble Valley's coming later, <sighs> and I'm sure he'll spend some time with you. Have we got any lines in this scene? Oh, yeah, you've got a few. Is there a song? Oh, yes, we'll run through it with you in a minute. Now, then, uh, do I have a dressing room? <laughs> You'll be sharing with Archie, Max. Oh. oh uh, hello. <laughs> uh, I'm glad you're here, Jennifer. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, everyone. Oh. It's nearly pantomime time. It's not, is it? Oh, yes, it is. No. <laughs> OK, quickly, we better go and get changed. Uh, hey, where's Max gone? He's, He's behind you. you. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to go this way. Oh, thank you, Susie. Yeah. Okay, let's just a little bit of powder. Here, like that. Oh, no, I mean, I'll need all three of them. It's no good. Thank you, thank you. No, thank Hello, Roly. Very pleased to meet you. I'm very pleased to meet you too, Sid. Oh, what a wonderful theatre. Do you know, this reminds me of a story. Hmm. Oh. I'm oh, not your colour. I'd like, I'd like you to try and maybe get the hand. Ah, 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 ah. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Just have to stay there. Just leave it. Just leave it. No one will notice. Just sit to the side. For the ball. Charmed. 
I'm sure. And I don't change on sticks. <laughs> Very good. Bye, baby. What a wonderful party. Oh, yes, marvellous. I, I wonder when that prince chappy will be getting here. Oh, excuse me, uh, do you mind if I uh, take this young lady for uh, a spin round the dance floor? Eh? No, no, not, not, not at all. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> And everyone from Tickabilla says hello, Roly Mo. Oh, how kind. Oh, isn't this exciting? I shall have some wonderful stories to tell the Fimbles when I get home. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Prince Sidney of Sloan. <laughs> Good evening and welcome to my grand ball. I hope you all have a wonderful time and Merry Christmas to everyone. Oh, Merry, Merry, Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Ladies and gentlemen, those beautiful sisters. Okay. <laughs> they look funny. Oh, hello, uh, girls. You're looking very um, <coughs> sparkly this evening. Uh, is your sister Cinderella here? No, no, no. She's at home tidying our bedroom and washing our dirty underwear. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, Cinderella is a very kind girl. Uh, are you as kind to her as she is to you? Well, sometimes we let her have the crust from our sandwiches uh, and the crumbs from our cakes. <laughs> yes, and if she's very lucky, we let her use our dirty bath water. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Ooh, I'm glad they're not my sisters. No, the principal. <laughs> Will you dance with us? I'm afraid I only dance with nice girls. No, but I am a nice girl because I've got a nice party hairdo. <laughs> and I'm a nice girl because I've got a nice dress. We're both very, very nice. nice. Yeah, well, you've not been very nice to your sister Cinderella. No, oh, yes, yes, we have. Oh, oh no, you haven't. haven't. No, oh, yes, we have. Oh, oh no, you, you haven't. Ladies and gentlemen, the Princess Cinderella. Oh. 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 Hello, everyone. Hooray! How did she get here? No, where did she get that dress? That's it's not, not fair! <laughs> Your Majesty, how nice to meet you. Princess Cinderella, I've heard about the really kind things you do for your sisters. May I have this dance? Of course. <laughs> Princess Cinderella, you are definitely the nicest girl in my whole kingdom. Will you... Yes? What's happening? <gasps> Look at the clock. It's 12 o'clock. I must do what my fairy godmother told me to do and leave before I lose my dress and my carriage. Look. 
Where's Cinderella? She's gone. Maybe it was all a dream. It can't have been a dream. Look, she dropped this glass slipper. Oh, yes. I must use this to help me find her again. Let it be known throughout the land that whoever this slipper fits, I shall marry. Hooray for Cinderella! Hooray for, for the, the prince! prince. It's, it's all, all too, too much! much. Oh, catch Ooh. me, prince! Catch me! Oh, Hooray! Happy, Happy Christmas. Christmas! Merry Christmas! Yeah. You see, the trouble with me, I just love Christmas Day too much. The songs, the presents, the decorations on the tree. That's why we love Christmas. <laughs> it's Christmas time. It's pantomime. It's Cinderella. Oh, oh no, it's not. Oh, oh yes, yes, it, it is. is. Turn on the lights One thing's for certain I won't be wearing tights Put on your makeup Get the scenery right Dance a dance and sing a song Everybody sing along There'll be a pantomime tonight Might even have a handsome prince who saves the day. He's behind you! Oh no, he isn't! Oh yes, he is! Make sure the costumes are colorful and bright. And when the audience is here, you'll know that showtime's really near. There'll be a pantomime. Make sure you're here on time. There'll be a pantomime tonight. Oh, hello there. Hiya. Now we're getting ready to do the last part of our CBeebies pantomime, Cinderella. Yes, everything's back to normal after the prince's big Christmas party. Can you remember what happened at the party? Well, the prince and Cinderella danced all night. Oh, but when the clock struck midnight, Cinderella had to leave before the fairy godmother's magic ran out. She left a glass slipper behind and the prince promised to search the land to find the lady whose foot fit that slipper. Yes, and then when he found her, he'd marry her. So, will the prince find the princess? Well, one thing's for sure, her mean sisters... Oh, that's us. ...will do all they can to stop her. <laughs> Let's take a look behind the sea baby's curtain. Hello. Hello. We're back in Cinderella's house for the last part of the story. Yes, so it's all changed on stage and we're putting away the prince's party things. And bringing back the kitchen things. Hey, Chris, have you seen that big laundry basket? Yes, here it is. Now this is where Cinderella's sisters keep their dirty washing. Ooh! It plays an important part in the story and this is very important. Cinderella's glass slipper. The one she left at the prince's ball. That's everything. I think we're ready to rehearse the last part of our pantomime. Where is everyone? We are all in this scene, aren't we? Yes, we'll have to go and find them. There isn't much time. Yeah, I wonder where they are. We're we're behind <laughs> right, so what happens in this scene? Well, Poi and I are really cross with Cinderella because she went to the ball. Yes, and we know that the prince is on his way to find the owner of the glass slipper. Mm, so we thought we'd hide Cinderella in here. <gasps> it is safe in there, isn't it? Oh, yes, Nicole, it's very safe. Look, it's got air holes so you can breathe. It's OK. Come on in. 
Okay. In your pop, Nicole. Be careful. You yep. right. Ooh, Ooh, look at that. Lid down. Ready? Yeah. Going to yeah. put the lid down. Is that right? Yeah. As snug as a bug. Buttons will have to find a way of rescuing Cinderella, but he'll be ever so sad if she does go and live in the palace because he won't see his best friend anymore. Poor Buttons. So it looks as if there's a happy ending for some people, but not so happy for the others. We'd better go now and get our costumes on. Yeah, come see on. See you later. Can I come out now, guys? Guys? Oh, they've all gone and left me. Charming. <sighs> I feel sorry for Buttons. He's been so kind to Cinderella, her only friend in the world. And if she does marry the prince, then he'll be ever so lonely. I'll make him a present. But what? I know, I'll make him a photo frame and put a picture of Cinderella inside so he can remember what good friends they are. Now here's my picture. Look, there's Cinderella and there's Buttons. Now, as we're in a theatre, I thought I could make the photo frame in the shape of a theatre. I've got a long piece of orange card here. I'm going to fold the outsides inside into the middle like this that way these make the curtains like that and pop the picture inside here we go there in the middle like that brilliant now I've got two bits of yellow card here two strips and it's got stripes of glitter it looks nice and Christmassy now I'm going to put that one there and the other one there, and they look like the sides of the stage. Now we've got a special golden sea babies bug like this. Make sure you get someone to cut it in half for you, because if you don't, you won't be able to open the curtains up like this. Next, I'm going to put this bit of scrap card inside so that I don't get the picture dirty, because I'm going to do some painting. I've got a bit of potato here, which I'm going to use to print to make the tops of the curtains. So there's one in the middle there, one on that side, and one on the other side. And last but not least, the footlights, which are the lights at the bottom of the stage. Well, I hope Buttons likes it. I just wish there was more I could do to stop Buttons being lonely. I know, I'll talk to Sid. Maybe the Prince and Cinderella can think of a way to make Buttons have a really happy ending. Ah! Hello everyone. Oh, I had such a lovely time at the ball last night. But I hope my sisters aren't too cross with me for being there. Well, Cinderella, you're in such trouble with the prince. Mm -hmm. You left the ball without saying goodbye. And you shouldn't have been at the ball in the first place. Oh, but my fairy godmother magicked me there. No, fib, 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 fib. I'm not fibbing. Oh, oh yes, yes, you, you are. are. Not only that. You haven't done the housework. Sorry, sisters. I'll get on with it right away. Mm. Well, you can start by washing our bloomers. And you'll find them in, in here. here. Right. Oh, dear. I, um, I seem to have lost one of my lovely bestest earrings. It's always fallen in that. Oh, oh. Uh, it's in that little dark corner oh, down right. there. Just Yes, in you go. Oh, oh yes, yes. I want to see it. <laughs> oh, Suki oh. Pookie, have you seen Cinderella? She's a bit caught up with the washing at the moment. Yes, <laughs> call back later. Oh dear, that may be too late. You see, the prince is here. <gasps> Hello, everyone. I'm here to find the foot that fits this glass slipper. And when I do, I know I will have found the girl I want to marry, the beautiful Princess Cinderella. No, I'm gooey princey. <laughs>
Mm, I'm Cinderella. <laughs> well, you don't look like Cinderella to me, but try on the slipper all the same. Okay. Oh, um, no, look away, look away, I'm very shy. Mm. Ready? No, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> It fits! It fits! Look! Ooh. Oh! It's a pretend leg, Suki. You cheat! Oh, I, I wonder how that got there. My Cinderella wouldn't do a thing like that. Oh, it's Cinderella! Let me try! Let me try! Oh, look! The slipper is far too small. You're not Cinderella either. Where is she? No, she's married Bob the Builder and she's gone to live in Thimble Valley and she's not coming back. Oh, this is terrible news. I guess I'll have to go back to the palace and live on my own forever. Oh, oh, hold on a moment. I don't believe them. Let me just check with my friends. Has Cinderella really married Bob the Builder and gone to live in Thimble Valley? Yeah. Well, where is she then? Where is it? <laughs> Come on, you two. Open it up. No, 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 no. I command you to open the basket. Ah, oh, Cinderella. May I try the slipper on? Please do. Cinderella, will you marry me and live in the palace? I would love to. Oh! Oh, Cinderella, I'm very happy for you, but I'm going to miss you so much. Oh, I'll miss you too, Buttons. So I got you this. Oh, thank you very much. It's lovely. I shall treasure it always. You know, Pookie... Cinderella's sort of kind, isn't she? Yes, Buttons is very kind too. Mm. Perhaps, sister, it's time for us to change our ways. Good idea. Do you two promise to be nice from now on? We promise! Then you can come and live with us in the palace. And Buttons, as you've been so kind to Cinderella, you can come and live with us too. You can be my Prime Minister. Fantastic! Yay! Yeah. It's nice to be nice to everybody. It's nice when we're nice to everyone. If we are friendly, then the world's a better place. Take away that frown and put a smile upon your face. It's nice to be nice to everybody. It's nice to be nice to all your friends. Because a kindly word is always heard. And if we're nice, we'll all... Right, have we got everything? I think so. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Oh, I love doing that show. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed our show. And maybe you'll go to a theatre and see Cinderella or a different pantomime. There's lots to choose from because Christmas time is pantomime time. It's not, is it? Oh, oh yes, yes, it, it is. is. <laughs> <laughs> see you later. Merry Christmas. Merry Bye. Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to miss our CBBC theatre, won't you? Oh, yes. I just wish we could take it with us. Is that a wish I heard? Fairy Godmother! Fairy Godmother! <laughs> I shouldn't really be here as the pantomime's finished, but, um, seeing as it's Christmas... <laughs> it's our model theatre, Sid. 
This is what we started with before we did the pantomime, remember? So, has it all been a dream then? Well, I don't know. But look! Oh, it's us! <laughs> Just like we were in the pantomime! Then my wish came true! Now we can take the CBeebies Theatre with us! And we can do the Cinderella pantomime anytime we want to! <laughs> Shall we take our final bow? Yes. <laughs> Happy Christmas! Happy Christmas! And if we're nice, we'll all have happiness. Nice to be nice, to be nice, to be nice, to be nice.